Hello Tuesday Night Beginner Belly Dancers. This is going to be your weekly supplemental content to help us with the live online classes that we're doing. I know it's not ideal because we get some of that lag time and since the entire world is on Zoom right now, it doesn't make learning dance the easiest. So I'm gonna try and give you some tools to work on at home, all the material that we do in class. So this last week we worked with a Saidi combination and I'm going to give you some exercises for those figure eights and mayas that we did. Uh, during class. So remember some of the things that you really have to remember for the figure eight is like I emphasize in class you really need to master the hip slide. Okay notice how my hips are moving out of alignment with their natural uh, placement in relevance to the spine and you'll see that as I'm moving my left hip out it's going outside of my left shoulder and as I slide through my rib cage stays still and I'm moving through the right. Okay, you need to have this perfect before you even start doing figure eights. I can also really transfer my weight. As I slide my hip left, I could pick up my right foot. All my balance is on the left. Slide it through the center, equal distribution, and slide it over to the right. Slide, slide. After that, you also need to master your hip twist, twist, twist. Here, I'm really thinking about bringing my navel towards my spine and twisting from my core, not my knees. The next exercise I want you to do that we're going to do with music together is you're going to twist the left hip backward, the right hip forward. I want you to imagine that you have strings attached, okay, and you're going side to side on the diagonal. This is your transition from one side to the other with your horizontal figure eights. Try the other side, twist left hip forward, right hip back, slide, slide. And again, my weight is shifting from one foot to the other. As I slide my hips back, all the weight's on the right and I slide my hips forward, they're all on the left. So we'll drill those together. Then we're going to do our front to back horizontal figure eight, which means that I'm twisting my right hip forward and it's sliding forward, twisting back. All my weight's still on the right. Slide it forward to the left, twist the left hip back. So the right hip is rotating clockwise, left hip is going counterclockwise. When we reverse this, it's called a back to front horizontal figure eight. So now my left hip is the acting hip, it's rotated backwards, and I rotate from back to front. I slide my weight back to the right, and I rotate it back to front. All right, so we're gonna do a couple minute drill with those exercises, and then we'll also move into your vertical figure eight.
good. Shake it out. Okay, so those are your horizontal figure eights. Again, because the figure eight shape that your hips are making are parallel to the floor, okay, to the ground. So now we're going to be working with the vertical plane, doing your vertical figure eights, which are called mayas and sways, or also sometimes referred to as a toxin, which is what the sways are. So soft knees, first just do a range of motion check in with your hips. As you lift the left hip, the right one drops down, and then right goes up, left goes down. I'm um, achieving this by keeping my knees soft and gently letting the knees paddle back and forth. Okay, notice also place your hands on the obliques, and you should feel these starting to activate by squeezing. Okay, so now we're going to be adding that same slide side to side with the up and down movement. We're going to start with the Mayas, again, named after the famous dancer Maya, and this was like her signature move, okay? So, placing the hands on the hips, you're going to drop the left hip down, all your weight is in the left foot. Then, you're going to pretend like your right hip is hooking up and over, and as you do that, I am literally shifting my weight from the left foot to the right foot to achieve that hook. So, I'm gonna go up, over. Now, all my weight is in the right foot. When I get all my weight into the right foot, I'm going to drop the right hip down. Now, all my weight is in the right, my left hip is lifted. Same action. Slide the weight over to the left. Hook the left hip up and over. Okay, arms out. So, I'm going to go one, two, three. Drop four. Slide to the left. The slide is more important than the up and down range of motion you have with the hips. It's the slide side to side that creates the figure eight, okay? The reverse of this is the sway or the toxin. So now I'm gonna start with my right hip dropped, my left hip up, all the weight is in the left. I'm going to scoop and slide my right hip out, bring it in using the obliques, slide, and then lift the left hip up. The heels I want on the ground for this drill so that you're going to keep your core honest and make sure it's doing all of the work and not getting unnecessary help from the feet. Okay, so now my right hip is going down, out, it goes out with the slide, come in center, down, out, and it comes up to the center. Let's do that with music just like we did with the horizontals. We'll start with the Maya, soft knees. Keep the pelvis tucked, slip the chest up. Four counts each side. Here we go. One, two, three, drop four. Left, six, seven, drop. Slide the weight to the right foot. Drop, slide the weight to the left foot. Drop, one, two, three, four. Now notice how my pant line here is not staying parallel to the floor. It's moving up and down.